Before airtime, I spoke with the former Arkansas governor, uh, Asa Hutchinson, about the tornadoes hitting his home state, as well as the indictment of the former president. Governor, I appreciate you joining us. Before we get to politics, uh, obviously you are concerned about the severe storms that hit Arkansas today. At least two uh, tornadoes, Little Rock, was, was hit. Have you been able to c connect with, with loved ones? What's your message for folks tonight? Actually, I just talked to my daughter who uh, lives in Little Rock. She's fine, but our heart goes out to uh, the families that have been impacted by it. Uh, it really looks like a devastating uh, tornado that hit. And uh, so we'll be uh, praying for the families that have been impacted, and I look forward to getting back there uh, probably tonight. I, I want to ask you about the, the historic indictment of the former president. You're calling on him to, to step aside from the 2024 campaign. Obviously, that's, as you know, un uh, highly unlikely. Why do you think he should step aside? Well, you're right, Anderson. It's, in fact, not only unlikely, clearly he's not going to, and there's not any requirement that he does it. Nobody can make him do it. Uh, the reason I said that is, uh, first of all, I believe that the office uh, that someone seeks uh, is more important than the person. And so uh, clearly this is going to be a distraction. He's going to have to focus on uh, his uh, legal defense. And so it's, it's, when you look at the presidency of the United States, it is just not helpful. But the fact is, uh, he's going to continue in it. And uh, what's ultimately is going to have to be decided for uh, the nominee on the Republican side is the voters are going to have to decide it. And the concern is, of course, that this is just a big distraction. We have to remember the presumption of innocence continues in this case. And we'll have to wait further facts. Also, I mean, for anybody else running, uh they are going to be asked about it for candidates who want to talk about the border or the economy or whatever. It does sort of suck up a lot of oxygen. Well, it does. And it's a challenge uh, for uh, the American people that want uh, their leaders and candidates to talk about border security, to talk about uh, our support for Ukraine or to talk about the economy. And now, uh, not just uh, Tuesday, whenever you have the appearance in court, but it'll be every motion that's filed, every judge ruling, every appeal in this case. And so it is a concern for, as I call the body politic, that we're going to have uh, this uh, difficulty, this challenge, this uh, crisis that he faces uh, throughout uh, the election seasons. Just uh, from a political standpoint, do you have any sense of how an indictment affects the former president politically in his race? I mean, does it, does it make everybody, you know, on the rally around him, uh, people who might not otherwise? Does it long-term maybe erode support? Well, I think that's the analysis that in the short term, uh, people believe uh, he uh, has uh, been targeted, believes that the uh, prosecution is not just and the charges are not valid. And so, He's proclaimed himself a victim uh, for years, and uh, this is a, almost a self-fulfilling prophecy. And so he can proclaim his victimization, and he can uh, get sympathy because of that. And so he'll probably have a short-term bump, long-term, we don't know. And that all depends upon the facts as they develop, uh, that we don't even know what uh, the indictment is, the specifics of it yet. And then you've got other investigations that's ongoing from the special counsel to that in Georgia. And so this is going to be a long-term saga. Your response to the statement that you put out yesterday, I thought was a very uh, responsible statement. Uh, there's a lot of folks who have, you know, immediately said they, you know, they wouldn't extradite the, the president or, uh, you know, the, the attacking the you know, the, the, the players in this saying it's, it's completely political. Um, you've taken a, a, a sort of a middle ground. You said there, there are indications it, it could, you know, there could be politics in, involved in this. I don't want to put words in your mouth. Um, but can you just talk about why you chose to take the, the track you did? You obviously have a, a, a you know, a, a, a law background. You've been a, a prosecutor yourself. Well, when I heard the indictment, I sat down and wrote out uh, my statement. And it's what I believe, that we ought to let the system work. Thousands of Americans uh, face charges, and uh, we trust our criminal justice system. We trust our jury system. And it's really the envy of the world. And so uh, let's not prejudge. Let's let the facts develop. And uh, he's entitled to the presumption of innocence, as I indicated. 
But uh, I think it's important that uh, we state our conviction. And I think I am standing alone on this point, saying yeah, let's let are. the facts develop and be patient. Yeah, I mean, it, that's, it's, it's notable that you are standing alone on this. And it says a lot about you and, and, and it says a lot about politics in America today. Well, it does. It does. But, you know, this is uh, fraught with emotions. Uh, whenever you have uh, someone that we've supported, I was his campaign chairman in 2020 in Arkansas, uh, Donald Trump. Uh, but everything's taken a turn. And uh, but there's a lot of loyalty out there. So there's a lot of emotion. There's emotion on both sides. And so leaders need to calm the emotions. Leaders need to say, uh, let's get the facts. And uh, let's have confidence and not undermine uh, our judicial system, which, again, is so important uh, to our democracy. We're a democracy under the law. Uh, Governor Asa Hutchinson, I really appreciate your time tonight. Thank you. Thank you, Anderson.